This is the Ionic 5 and 609 horsepower 80 kilowatt hours battery. And there are a lot of things that I love about this car. If you want to know what you spend every month on your EV, you want to know all of your trips, how far did you go, what was your average consumption, you're interested in all of your charging sessions, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, what is your ratio between AC and DC charging, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in a browser, you can see all of this data. They also have a 100% tax compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below. Number one is the amazing power. The 609 horsepower accelerate you like crazy. 3.66 seconds or something I measured from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. It does it really well. There are so many things that you can switch around and then it drives amazing. And you can go through corners and everything. It has grip. Awesome. Next is the Regen, the regenerative braking. It's really strong and yes, the Ionic 5 uh, has already very strong Regen, but here it feels even a bit more that you can do more sporty drive. You have four different levels that you can adjust with the pedal shifters. I think you even have auto, so five different levels. Zero, no Regen at all, one, two, three. So get stronger and then I pedal, which doesn't beep anymore when you turn it on or off, which is amazing. And uh, where it, the re regenerative braking brings you to a standstill and is extremely strong. And with uh, even with Regen Level 3, you can drive really sporty. And with this, I mean, you accelerate, then there's a bit of a corner, you go off the acceleration pedal, you get slowed down really strong. Not all the time you need to brake, so you can adjust your power and your braking just with one pedal. One pedal driving overall works perfectly in every Ionic 5, but in the end it's even more sporty. Go in the corner, get a bit off, then you brake, then the brakes of course extremely strong, they're gigantic, uh, and then you can accelerate and uh, it's awesome. Charging. Oh my god, the normal, normal Ionic 5 with this 800 volt system, the old Ionic 5 was already incredible with a peak of 239 kilowatt. Incredible. And now the new one with the bigger battery, 84 kilowatt hours, 80 kilowatt hours can be used still 800 volt system it charges even better when you plug in at uh, it doesn't matter where you plug in but if you plug in at a low state of charge um, the, the power just ramps up slowly but till 50 percent you get up to a, a 265 kilowatt and then you have a few steps where it goes down i have a video where i show the charging curve and it's amazing and to 80 percent it charges incredible 17 minutes hyundai says in perfect conditions from 10 to 80 percent i didn't get that mine was slower but still for 80 kilowatt hour battery that's incredible and the great thing about the charging curve of the ionic 5 is and the n as well when you plug in at 50 percent or something you still can get 200 kilowatt just of course not as long so it's not like if you plug in at a higher state of charge you don't get you get crappy charging it's still good <music> The space inside the car. This is a powerful, amazingly sporty car and still you have so much space in the back for the rear passengers and in the front. The trunk got smaller and there's also no front, but other than that, a lot of space. I love it. The seats, yes, they are sporty bucket seats, but they're still comfortable and they hold you in place very, very well. I love cornering in this car. I can't move to the side. It's amazing. It's not like sliding around. So when you drive, you're everywhere. You're really held in place and they're still comfortable. Yes, they get warm, but you have seat ventilation. I love these seats. Of course, they fit me perfectly. I don't know about some other people who are not 
as big as me. Who knows? Cindy sat in the car for a second and hated it. <laughs> but it was just for five minutes. But I love this, these seats. I love the amazing info that you can get out of this car. Number one, the amazing thing that was always in Ionix is the instant consumption that you can see here. How many kilowatt does driving, the electronics, the climate or the battery care, so heating or cooling of the battery take. Um, so you can see that while driving afterwards, it's awesome. And of course the battery heating that can be activated manually or navigating to a charger. This is already awesome and normal in any Ionic 5. And then you have the extra button here on the steering wheel and now you can see the battery temperature and also the temperature of your motors. And here you have the torque that it's using and the power and the region. It's just awesome to see all of this data. The app has so many functions, not just locking, unlocking or start the climate. When you go into remote, you can open the charge port, start uh, conditioning of the battery, stop it, close the charge port, start charging, stop charging, climate and so on. You can set the temperature, you see your last trips, you can see your average consumption on your last trips and all of this. You see your charging power, of course state of charge and your range. There's so much in there, it works really well and fast. The the only thing I'm not a fan of, if you start the climate to cool down the car or something, it only does it for 15 minutes. Then it just stops and you have to do it again. But it can give you a message, hey, uh, preconditioning is done. And the last thing, I love how this car looks like. The normal Ionic 5 is already a very good looking car. It depends a bit on the color for me. There's some colors where it looks a bit weird, but in this color with the 21 inch wheels, all the sportiness that you can see, wide tires, 275 tires on here. It looks incredible and it looks what it is. It shows you, hey, I'm aggressive, I'm sporty, I have power, get out of the way, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I love the look of this car and the matte blue. Oh, it fits very, very well. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a few events coming this week. ID3 GTX event in Switzerland, and then Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 event in Bottwils. Very excited. I'm going to film a bit behind the scenes, which you can see on my third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.